Yeah, if you're ready to get it going, everybody in the building say welcome to the faith. Yeah, yeah. We're the Hi, it's Pete. Welcome back to Question Christ. And today I'm going to be doing a video that I'm kind of torn about doing. I was contacted by a, a, a channel, a guy, whatever, uh, YouTubers versus Shock All Now. And they wanted me to talk about what I thought of Shock All Now's tactics to try to win people to Christ. Um, and I have had some contact with Shock All Now over the last uh, number of weeks since I've been getting back into doing this. <clears throat> and he's always been very nice to me. Um, so, this is a tough video for me to make because there's lots of things I'd like to say. Um, first off, my main thing I'd like to say um, is, is the way I do my videos and why I do my videos the way I do. Um, talking to people about their faith is a very touchy subject. Most people say don't ever talk about politics or religion to anybody and those are my two favorite things to talk about. Um, but I've, I've noticed uh, in the past um, when people are smug or people have an attitude and they, and they talk down to you, um, that usually shuts down the conversation right, right then. You have a hard time respecting that person. You have a hard time hearing what that person is saying. Um, and that's where I come from, uh, in my, my background of what I'm trying to do here. Um, I genuinely care for people who don't know Christ. I feel like we're getting closer and closer um, to some very, very um, huge events in, in, this, in this world's history. I, I feel a crumbling going on around the civilizations of the world regarding culture and morality and relativism where everything goes and nothing is wrong and it's just getting more and more like that so I feel like that's a signal of things to come and I really want to reach out and explain to people why Jesus is the Son of God and He's, the, he's God incarnate and so that's why I do it the way I do it. I try to be as respectful as possible, and uh, I think that might take me longer to reach people sometimes. Um, I have to say I am I am absolutely floored by the outpouring of support and uh, not not agreement on, but that uh, a lot of Wiccans I've been talking to out there, uh, some of the Mormons I've been talking to out there. Um, that they that they've been really cool to me and uh, so and I'm trying to talk to people who haven't made up their mind yet I mean a lot of the people I talk to to be honest with you I know I'm not gonna get through to you but there are hundreds of kids who come on here and just go through videos and they're trying to figure out what they what they feel about things and what God is for them and I want them to know the truth so, um, and I believe shock and awe, or shock on now is deal is he's trying to grab people's attention. The, cor the correspondences I've had with him, he's made it very clear uh, he doesn't feel like there's a lot of time, uh, and that he he wants to win people to Christ because he doesn't know when when it's going to all end. And I understand that underst I understand that feeling, um, and I also don't. I think a lot of people see how excited, honestly, he excited he is when he gets someone to accept Christ. I mean, it doesn't matter to him. I mean, he's saved. What, what matters is that he wants to reach out to people. And in some of the private correspondences I've had, he's, he's shown excitement and giving glory to, to God, not to himself. Um, Unfortunately, I don't think he shows that to many people, <laughs> and I think that's why there's so much uh, anger towards him. 
Now, I've heard all this stuff about how he's not let people put stuff on his site and who don't agree with him. I've heard some stories about um, him saying some very rude things to people. Um, and I'm not going to condone that. I mean, I don't know. I don't know if that's true or not. Um, I'm not saying it isn't. Uh, but what I'm, what I'm trying to do here is I'm trying to... Um, I'm trying to be understanding of, of both ends of this. Um, no one should be outwardly rude, and for the most part, I feel that that kind of tactic will backfire, and a lot of people will be turned off. On the other hand, he's had some good success with getting people to Christ. So it's tough for me. You know, I'm saying, uh, I know most of you will not agree with me. They're like, you know, from most people's perspective on this, you think he's a jerk, you think he's rude, you think he's obnoxious, and that's the end of it, and there's no no excuse. And, um, again, I'm not defending some of the alleged things I've heard. I also don't want to get into sniping back and forth and it becoming this high school drama that I've seen going on in some of these things where people are writing I had someone put a, I, I deleted it but Blue Fire Witch has some people that she's feuding with I guess and th their comment to my video is Blue Fire Witch is a liar I've been to high school and I'm done with that <laughs> um, so I want to keep it on the issues I want to keep it on the theology I want to keep it on that so would I do it the way Shock All now does it? Absolutely not no disrespect, shock all now, but I wouldn't. However, I can understand where he thinks maybe I take too much time. And worry that I'm not trying to wake people up quickly enough to the oncoming dangers. I can only go by what I would do. And that is to show people respect. Uh, try to learn what they believe. And try to show them with love and make it clear to them that it's love. And especially for these teenagers who are out there. If you guys don't know what you're thinking about God and you're trying to figure it out, first of all, I would tell you, and I enjoy talking to people, but I would tell you, get off YouTube. <laughs> get off YouTube. Go read books from all different faiths. And if you do, and if you do go to YouTube, um, always look up what these people are saying because a lot of people are just talking junk I gotta be honest with you um, but I think there's nothing wrong with looking at all different faiths because ultimately you should ask the tough questions of every single faith and I still believe that nothing nothing beats out following Christ because it's the truth that's the thing and if people would take as much time as they do trying to know about the newest Britney Spears gossip or what's the latest thing that's going on with Brangelina. <laughs> if they took that much time, if people took the amount of time it took to analyze the NBA draft or who is going to um, win it all at the Super Bowl or, you know, I mean, whatever. All these things, all these mindless things. What is more important than knowing about God? But so many people just don't even think about it. I'm, I'm talking to those people who don't know what, where they are, where they stand. And I ask you, I ask you, if you feel like Christianity is the way you want to go, stay with me. All right? Ask me the toughest questions you want. But I guarantee you, I guarantee you, that if you continue, I don't, not that I have all the answers, but I guarantee you, if you're seeking Christ out, he's going to find you, okay? Okay, that's it. So I hope that suffices. I'm not going to talk about it anymore. I don't want to get into it with who did what, who's saying bad things, whatever. I'm praying for everybody. <laughs> Just try to keep it on the theology, and uh, I appreciate all the comments I've gotten. I appreciate all the people who have been sharing. Okay, let's continue that. Let's keep it up. All right? Thanks.